Okay, this is another video for transformation. Uh, yeah, this this one is enlargement. I think enlargement got two two points which is very important. The first point is that you need to find the skill factor. The first is skill factor. It means what? It means you have to know how big, how big is the object actually enlarged. And this is object, this is image. So obviously, obviously the image is bigger than the object. But then we need to know how big, which is we call it skill factor. And now another one is enlargement center point. I mean, uh, where is the center point for enlargement? So this is too very important for for enlargement. So first, I teach you how to see the skill factor. Okay. For example, okay, skill factor you try you try to see those line is very easy to see right? You you can compare this line rather than you compare this line because this line and this line sometimes it's very hard to for you to decide actually how 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 big is it and large. So you better see okay something like horizontal line. So this horizontal line, this one is if you call this one one unit. So on the top here, this line actually it's the same it's a it's the same line with this line just this one is the image this one is the object this is the line enlarged after the enlargement okay so this line obviously bigger so here is a, if this one is one unit after enlarge this line become three unit one two and three so actually you cannot actually this enlargement the skill factor we call it three okay if you if you not confirm, maybe you can calculate this line also. Okay, this line, if this is 1, 2, 1 and 2. So after enlarge 2 multiple 3, we should get 6. So I calculate here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6 unit, 2 and 6. Yeah, so we, I confirm that the skill factor is 3. Okay, so after I confirm already, the second step I need to do is I have to find the, enlarge, uh, the enlargement center point. So normally, how, how do we find the center point? You just connect all the points to one center. Okay, for example, I connect few points. First, maybe I connect, okay, I connect this point to this point. I connect them together. Okay. Okay, first I con connect these two points. And then maybe I connect this point to this point. Okay, I connect another point, make them together. Okay. And then maybe I connect this point to this point, then I will get this point. And I connect this point to this point, I will get this point. So you will find that actually got one point is all, when you connect all the line together, they will touch one point which is you attach at this point so this one is what we call it center point center point okay you just connect all the point uh, let's say this is a this is this is a new uh, this is a this is new a new a and a you connect together if this is b this is new b new b and b you connect together and you just connect all the four point you touch at one point that one we call it center point okay and then of course in the paper two he will ask you to write the full description about enlargement so so actually you can write uh, you can write the f uh, uh, full Okay, full description like an enlargement of the skill factor of how many? For example, you can write like this. You can write an enlargement. An enlargement means that you you prove that uh, the transformation is enlargement. An enlargement of skill factor. Okay, means means you just you just tell them what is skill factor for this one. Skill factor three at the center at center okay any coordinate next to x y okay this is something like full this is something like full description about a enlargement is for translation is very easy translation you just write out you just write down the okay maybe some of you will 
get confused. Okay, for translation, you just you just say, okay, maybe W is a translation. Is a translation at maybe you just draw out this one x y okay you just write this one is for translation okay so yeah and then it's like say for reflection reflection you just write a reflection a reflection at the reflection at the line let's say just now uh, y equal to x or, or x equal to 2 or y equal to 2 you just say an enlargement at which line so the the key the key point for translation is you must write translation and then you must write down this metric form and the key point for reflection you must write is a reflection and then you have to mention then which line the which line is the reflection line okay this is two like full by like full description for translation and reflection and of course the enlargement also an enlargement of the skew factor three at the center what okay and maybe i just show one more example before i end the video okay for example this one okay first thing you want to find skew factor so so you you sometimes you're very struggle which which line should you see normally i will see something like vertical line or horizontal line so in this case i choose this one this one you will see one unit here this one is two unit here so obviously this is skill fact if this is image and this is object so this is called skill factor of two okay now i give, I give you some tricks okay if let's say this is object this is image if this is object and this is image the image becomes smaller becomes smaller this one we also call it enlargement but then if it becomes smaller it becomes smaller from two to one we call it one over two the enlargement is one over two if this is object and this is image and the image becomes smaller okay so i write here if image becomes smaller okay becomes smaller the enlargement will be the enlarge okay right short form enlargement will be infection so so you will see something like one over two one over three one over four okay when you see something like this means that actually the object becomes smaller okay if you see the skill factor is one over two mean actually like, like this example if this is Im, uh, image uh, this is object this is image so the image actually becomes smaller by by from two to one this one we call it one over two okay we call it one over two if this is three to one we call it one over three okay this is f if the image becomes smaller but most of the time if the image become bigger if this is object this is image skill factor just become two so in this case okay this is image this is object so obviously the skill factor is two so the skill factor will be two in this case okay after that if you know the skill factor already we want to find we want to find center point okay you want to find the center point very simple i say you just connect two coordinate let's see i connect this coordinate with this coordinate and this coordinate to this coordinate because they are on the same straight line so i just connect them together okay and then i connect this coordinate to this coordinate just connect them together and then i connect this coordinate to this coordinate so actually i already see the common point which is this this one will be the center point do you see this one which all the line will pass through this one so this is the center point okay where okay so if you know how to find center point so enlargement should be very easy for you and then some of the time you will see like uh, the enlargement of the skill factor like negative two you see negative here it means that actually actually the enlargement is like flip over 
So if let's say you will have something like something like this one. If the enlargement point is here, so if you see negative two, negative two will mean actually the image already flip over. Flip over, he will have something like okay he will have something like okay here have not enough place to draw actually he will have something like this it's something like flip o okay he will something like flip over but but then th this one he will becomes bigger a bit so may maybe he will flip over something like this and then he will reach here okay this one is what we call negative is this is center point so this is object so af after you see negative two means mean the object actually will become bigger a bit okay this is two units so here should be four unit four unit is one unit so it should be two unit okay so you will have some image like this okay this is when you see negative okay you still can connect all the core core you still then connect all the coordinate and then you will still pass through this point you see this center to this center you connect this center to this center you connect you will pass through this point this one and this one you connect you will pass through this point and this one and this one you connect you will also pass through the center point okay this is the mean by negative when you see negative actually the image will flip over okay i hope this video can give you a lot of information about enlargement thanks for watching